NIL gig right there. This Saturday, there will be names inducted, people inducted into the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. We have had some of them on the show, some tomorrow, and also thrilled to have Ray Rhodes, Mejia, Texas, on with us sick on 365 Radio and 365 Sports. Ray, Coach, thank you very much for being a part of the show. What does that you are. Yes, Yes, sir. You are. Uh, what did it mean to you when you found out that you were going into the Texas of all the place, the great state of Texas, and what high school football means, the Hall of Fame? Well, it means a great deal. It's a big honor. Excited about it. My family is excited about it. But it's, it's, it's big. What did growing up in Mejia teach you? How did how did that affect your life? I, I used to early in my career, I was the the radio broadcaster for the Mejia Black Cats, and uh, that's a it's a close knit community. It's a small town. It's different than a lot of places. What did it mean to you? Well, it means a lot to me. Uh, from all my people at home, uh, you know, it, it, it means a lot. It really does. It's a, it's a big deal, and to be uh, able to to go in the Hall of Fame and represent my, my, my town of Mayo means a great deal. Ray, being a black cat, that was, you know, you always hear about that, the Mejia black cats. What, what did, what was that like to, to, to represent the black cats? Well, it, it, it means a lot because, you know, it's a small town, not, not a large town, and uh, to be able to represent the, the, the town, it means a great deal to me. You know, I was born and raised, went to, went to school there, and, I, and I, it means a great deal of to be able to represent them. Ray Rhodes will be one of the names inducted Saturday at the Texas Sports Hall of Fame in the Texas High School Football Hall of Fame. Coach, uh, looking back at just uh, your career, what's it like all these years later to just uh, kind of reflect back? How often do you reflect back on some of your 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 highs, your lows, what have you? I mean, what's the the reminiscent process reminiscing process like for you at this point? Well, you know, I, I do reminisce about it a little bit, but I, I'm not. I'm one of those guys that never expected anything to happen. I'm, I'm just uh, I just wanted to go and play football, enjoy myself, and have a good time playing football. And, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of things that happened to the And And uh, from doing that, I was able to, 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 to play a little foot, pro football, college football. You know, it, 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 it means a whole lot. It really does. TCU, Tulsa, a five-time Super Bowl champion. What, um, what, what, what was it like to experience that? Not once, but five different times, Coach. You know, five times and uh, quite quite a few times now, but it was it was it was exciting. But but again, I tutored a lot of players. I coached a lot of players. And I helped a lot of players out, and all those players helped me out by by performing well and doing the things they were supposed to do. But they helped me out. But uh, but it's five five simple wins. That's uh that's quite a bit. What did Bill Walsh mean to you? Bill Walsh was an excellent coach, one of, one of the best coaches I've I've had. But 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 you think about my coaches, you know, you you, you think about in high school I had Bob McQueen, mm -hmm. Temple Tech, one 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 of the best high school coaches in in, in in the area. But Bob McQueen, I love Bob McQueen. And then when I went to the to the pros, I, I my, my first coach in the pros was a defense genius by the name of Bill Osborne. And uh, that was a, a, a really exciting time for me because he was the best defensive coach in all of football at the time. And, uh, and to be on him meant a great deal. But, uh, but you know, but Bill, 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 um, Bill Walsh and uh, you know, they, were, they, were all, they were all good coaches, all of them. Bill Arnsbarger was a part of that unbeaten Miami Dolphins team. For those who don't remember the greatness of Bill Arnsbarger with the, uh, the the Dolphins in the Super Bowl as well. So you you were, and Bob McQueen went on to be a great coach at Temple High School. A lot of people remember him there as well. Ray, what are your thoughts now about where we are with coaching hires, uh, black coaches? It, it seems like it kind of comes and goes, and it's kind of always in the news. Your thoughts, you thought that back when you took over with the Eagles that it would be in a lot better place now? Uh, well, 
you know, they're gonna hire people gonna hire who they wanna hire when it's time to hire them. But but right now, I you know it's they they probably like a little time. But but people are hiring black coaches. And but there's still a lot of players that feel like left out a little bit, but they are still hiring a lot of black coaches around around the league. Bill Walsh, George Seifert, Mike Holmgren, Mike Shanahan, Gary Kubiak, Pat Shermer. Those are coaches, in fact, who you work for. Um, and then a lot of people work for you as well, right? Yes, that's right. Coach, that's one of those right. Coach, one of those was David Shaw, who's been at Stanford now for a few years. Uh, what did you see in David Shaw early on, and did you expect him to become a head coach uh, in the, the way that he is now at, at some point in his career? Yes, I did, because, yeah, I, I wanted David. David said, his dad was coaching at the time, and uh, I knew his dad real well. And they, they, coaches, he's doing a great job for, for Stanford, and he's doing, he's doing a good job. Uh, Ray Carmen, there with you, your wife, four children, uh, and the family life that you have. And uh, what will it mean to them Saturday uh, when you are inducted, in your opinion? Not just much what it means to you, but to everybody else around you. Well, everybody, everybody's excited about it. My, my kids are excited about it. As a matter of fact, they're trying to get get here now, flying in town now. And, uh, you know, everybody's everybody excited about it. It's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Ray, and, and I try, try to see it all, but it's just a big deal. Uh, you, uh, you live up near Allen, correct? Is that right? I live in Allen. In Allen, uh, and, and it's... It is the football capital of the world in some ways when it comes to the facilities with what they have. Can you try to explain not just what it would, what it means to you this weekend, but being a part of Texas high school football, and if anything represents it, it might be that stadium just around the corner from you? Uh, no, well, i tell you what. The stadium is one of the main reasons I moved here. I, I moved here, and uh, they just built the stadium, and uh, Kyle Miller was the quarterback, and uh, there's a lot of top players representing the whole, whole, whole state of Texas. But out, out of the excellent football program uh, and excellent coaches, uh, and uh, they, they've been a, 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 a good good reason to, to live here now. And I, I've been to a ton of games. I've been to about maybe six or seven games, and they are, they're a good team. Ray, thank you for your time. Congratulations. We'll see you Saturday. Look forward to, to seeing you and also hearing what you have to say then as well. Okay, thank you very much. Ray Rhodes, former head coach of Philadelphia and the Green Bay Packers. You know, he had a pretty good career. He was 37-42-1. and one. He had 3-13 and 13 his last year in Philadelphia, and then they moved on. Then he got the job in uh, Green Bay, was 8-8 eight and eight a couple of different years, and then they moved on as well. Uh, known for what he did as a defensive mind, known for what he did as a player, fierce, competitive. Uh, he did. Uh, back in uh, about 15 years ago, he suffered a stroke and uh, has been battling through that as well, and it was great to get him on. We appreciate his wife, Carmen, for helping us set up that interview with Ray Rhodes. Yeah, uh, I mean, Mejia's produced for a small town some pretty good talent, and uh, he's certainly a, one of the headliners there, and uh, – Tremendous list of coaches that he's coached under. Tremendous list of coaches that you know coached under him, uh, like a David Shaw, like a John Harbaugh, uh, and many others that um, you know were under his uh, wing at one point or another. So, yeah, uh, Texas legend, and uh, glad to see that he'll be getting his just 